so when you are using the word rigid body you bring the size into consideration now you say that a train is different from airplane airplane is different from cricket ball and cricket ball is different from an helicopter whereas if you are going to study the mechanics of a particle we say that everything is same whether you are going to consider the motion of the earth around the sun then we say that sun is a particle and earth is a particle irrespective of how large it is so that concept is very important so when you are discussing the particle the the size and the shape is not there when you are bringing the size and the shape we use the word mechanics of a rigid body okay so that is the thing so that is what i am now writing here so right now if you are going to consider a single particle in your physical system then it requires so now the conclusion is this is the conclusion one particle if you want to describe a single particle in your physical system then we need three coordinates which can be represented by x comma y comma z if you if you are going to use cartesian system x comma y comma z is fine but if i am not going to use a cartesian system if i want to represent it by a cylindrical polar coordinate system then this is equivalent to so only thing is that now you will be having three numbers but now the three numbers will not be 2 comma 3 comma 7 but it will be a different set of numbers in the case of the cylindrical system suppose if you say that i don't want a cylindrical system and i want to use spherical polar coordinate system then these three numbers also can be equivalently converted to another set of three numbers the first one would be the radius of the sphere comma so r comma theta comma phi so our conclusion is that irrespective of whatever coordinate system that you are going to use our conclusion says that one particle requires only three numbers so we make a conclusion that if this is the situation suppose if you are going to have n number of particles if you are going to have n number of particles how many coordinates are required we need three n number of coordinates and n number of particles together is called one system so the n particle system requires three n number of coordinates so this is the first information about the generalized coordinates 